What's up YouTube, KidMoto22 here, coming to you guys today with a video about heated gear. So in my last video, I talked a little bit about uh, some heated gloves and some heated gear I wanna get for extending my riding season. I reached out to Mobile Warming and they agreed to work with me. And so now I've got some heated gear. Um, my first video that I talked about um, was uh, kind of an unboxing and first impressions of the gloves that I got, but I also have a jacket. These things are gonna be great for me to extend my riding season, not only in the fall, but in the spring of the year too. So I'm really looking forward to this. This one, we're gonna take a look at the jacket. Um, this jacket is gonna be something again that's gonna allow me to extend my riding season um, a little bit longer into the year. Uh, just like the gloves, the jacket can be hardwired to your bike or can run on a battery pack. Either way, it'll work. So let's get a, let's uh, take a look at these uh, at this jacket and uh, we'll do that right now. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the uh, the heated gear that I'm going to be looking at today. This is uh, the, the dual power jacket um, and dual power basically what that means for, um, for this company is with the dual power you're going to get both battery operated and um, you know direct access to wired into your bike. So let's open this up and see what we've got. All right, so you can see again, the, uh, the power button is right on the front of the jacket, so that's easy um, access to turn it on. Um, inside here, we have the battery pack portion. So this is the, the um, battery pack, and then the charger for the battery pack is on back. And uh, this allows this jacket to be run not only as a direct plug into your bike, but also with the battery power. So pretty exciting um, to have a battery pack to go along with it. The battery pack can be used with the gloves or the jacket by themselves, or it can be used in tandem. So you just plug your, your gloves into your jacket and uh, that will allow for the jacket and gloves to be run at the same time. So here you go. This is kind of what the jacket looks like. The jacket itself is uh, kind of made of the outer shell of, of many popular jackets, that same kind of material. Um, the, uh, the jacket itself has some interesting features that I like. So the first thing that you're gonna see on there is uh, this, the, the portion of the sleeve that kind of pulls over your hand. So your, your thumb will go through here um, on this part and your hand comes through. And this actually pulls the jacket down over your hand and it keeps the sleeve of the jacket down. So when you put the cuff of the glove over top of this, you're gonna get nice coverage over, over top of your wrist. Um, the other, one of the other neat, nice features I like about this is the plug-in for the gloves is in the sleeve here. So if you're not using it, you just tuck it in and zip it closed and you don't have wires just kind of hanging out, but you want to use the gloves, you unzip it, you plug your gloves in, and then of course, you know, you can, you know, kind of tuck those wires in there and zip them up a little bit closed if you want. So it just allows that to be plugged in and that's on both sleeves. So you plug in the gloves on both sides and obviously they're color coded right and left, gray and black. You should know which glove is your right and your left. And again, is uh, um, the sleeve on this side is is kind of the same. So that's really kind of uh, um, the or, the out the out backs or front side of the jacket. Back side again, just a nice plain clean black jacket. There's not a lot of markings on the jacket itself, so it could be used um, off of the motorcycle too, not only on the motorcycle. So zip close really nice there's also pockets on here and uh, the pockets themselves are nice deep pockets nice material on the inside of the pocket so really easy to carry everything so let's get to the inside of the jacket there's kind of some neat, neat features to look at on the inside also so the first thing we see on the inside of the jacket is you have the holder here for the battery pack. So you slide the battery pack on the inside. There's a little top part here where the where the cord can, can come out. And this is just a nice area where you can keep the battery pack inside of your jacket when you're using it, when you're not going to have 
the jacket um, set up to be directly wired to your bike. You can see the heating sections of it here. There's a heating section along the top of the back, back up here, and then there's another heating section right here. So this really provides heat on the chest portion of your body. It's not putting heat throughout the whole jacket, but really the, you know, kind of the main areas. So the other section to be mindful of is this other inside pocket that you're gonna see that's right down here. And uh, we'll get kind of a good, a good look at it. So inside of, of this portion of the jacket, and I'm just gonna kind of pull these wires out of here. So inside this portion of the jacket is another section that you can hardwire to your bike. So it's another set of wires that's set up so you can hardwire it right to your bike. Um, I like the little cap that's provided here. So um, you're keeping that nice and clean when you're not using it, when it's not plugged in. And then this is also where the jacket will be plugged in directly to your bike also. So you have this, this nice section here where that's where the wire is that's gonna plug into your bike when you're hardwired to your bike. So in addition, so if you were gonna use this set of wires here and you weren't gonna use a battery pack, you're gonna plug it in directly to here into your bike. So it's really kind of a, a nice feature to be able to have, again, both of the sections where you're gonna be plugging it into your bike or you're gonna be plugging into the battery and not using that section of it. So yeah, I think this is exactly what I'm looking for. That's gonna be a nice addition for me to be able to extend my riding season. Um, there's some features again that I like. At the bottom of the jacket, you can cinch the bottom closed a little bit tighter so you can prevent wind from kind of that, that updraft from blowing up your jacket. And the material itself is gonna be um, very resistant to wind and rain. So um, that's the other thing that is really nice about these jackets. The other thing you should know when looking at this type of gear is in terms of fitment, this type of gear is gonna be much more form fitted. So um, it's not gonna be really loose on your body. It's gonna be a much more kind of form fitted style of jacket. And uh, um, that with that form fit jacket, you're gonna need to take that consideration into consideration when you're looking at sizing. So there we go, there's uh, first impressions. Well, there you go. I hope you like that unboxing and first impressions of my mobile warming jacket from Fieldchair. This is some great stuff. This is really gonna allow me to extend my riding season and I hope you got something out of it. Um, please let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you guys ride with heated gear? Are you riding in an area of the country where it's even cold enough that you might need it? I don't know, but I'm really gonna enjoy it and I think it's gonna be something that's gonna be really great for me. So. I'll uh, put a link up for another video up here that you guys might find interesting. And uh, if you like my video, give me, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. I'll put it right up here. Again, this is Kid Moto. I appreciate your time. I'm out.